as a whole are these regional stories. They're cultural expressions that only happen in that place when you come to Japan and you have the chance to go to an art festival. This year in Japan, there will be several art festivals being held at the same time, such as the Ichigo Tsumari, Satoshi Trinale, and Reborn Art Festival. Over a thousand pieces of artwork will be shown throughout the country. Each area with unique landscapes and local communities have its own distinct lifestyles and history from cities. So when you visit, there's a chance to participate and enter that landscape and culture to find this great expression of solidarity um, and feel a historic value of this time here in Japan. It feels more like a prolongation, like the art has been uh, is distilling from the nature, from the island, moving yourself, removing yourself into a, a space like Naoshima that uh, breathes art and calm nature. I think that that makes the art so much more, I don't know, it feels like you are really immersed in it. Relationships that are so strong are in Japan because they have had to work their way through so many disasters, you know, like earthquakes happen, landslides happen, tsunamis happen, and that's just a reality of people's lives. It's not, you know, a once in a lifetime occurrence. And so they've built these structures so that they can support one another. It actually really changed my mind about a lot of things. The importance of expression and the importance of coming together, I think really very uplifting, incredibly resilient. 2022 Art Japan. Immerse yourself.